Lee, how you going? So I'm back doing Melbourne Highland League videos. Uh, my first round's against Damien Kirby. We played at uh, GG's Melbourne. Um, I'm just going to commentate solo because I'm unorganized and can't organize anyone to commentate with me. And I just want to get out the videos. So I don't know, hopefully you don't get bored of my voice. Yeah, let's we'll see how it goes. We're playing at GG's. Let's get straight into it. Damien's on the play, leads off with Temple Garden. I've got a stirring Wildwood. I'm not sure if we mulligan it or not. Alright, so Damien's got a Fairy Macabre. Oh, this is game two. Apologies. Uh, game one, from memory, went for like an hour or something. And I'm like, there's no way people are going to watch this. So I just skipped it. I won the first game, alright? <laughs> so Damien plays Overgrown 2 and passes. I didn't see a 2 drop in his hand. My cat's scratching at the door, trying to get out. Hopefully he doesn't keep doing that. Um, deciding what to do for my second land drop. Oh, I can't make any of the cards in my hand. <laughs> so he bought it in a fairy macabre. Um, not sure why. I've got Eternal Witness, so Steel Trap is a gift from me. I can do the clamp, or... I don't think I would have brought in Battle Skull. Um, oh, maybe I did. Damien checking his phone. Anyway, uh, clamp. Yep, key in the matchup. Damien will need a removal spell for that clamp if he hopes to win this game. That's what I was saying. <clears throat> I think the fairy card was just for Eternal Witness that he saw from me, and maybe like Kitchen Finks, Stranger Geist. So, not many targets really for it. Damien's got a Thrun, uh, which I should be able to just chump block when it comes down and race it. So I'm not too worried about that. Not that I know he has it. Corsa and Crew Fix from Damien reveals Bitter Blossom. Corsa's sweet, definitely high and playable. Uh, it's a pretty low impact card, but you know if you aim to go long and you've got plenty of other creatures to kind of overload their removal, then that's quality. Okay, so I've got a Sundering Growth in my hand that'll be able to kill the Corsa and the Bitter Blossom on top of his deck. And I've got Unexpectedly Absent to get me some tempo at some point in this game. Although, with Clamp in play and with the slow start, I'm probably not going to be winning on tempo. It's going to be all about Clamp and whether he finds the answer or not. Kraken Wooded Foothills. That glare is starting to get pretty bad. Hopefully you guys can make out the cards. Um, I'm not sure what land I got there. Temple Garden. Tapped. Okay. Sundering Growth on the Corsa of Crufix. I probably should have done that in his draw step so that I got to see a, an extra card. Um, although he may have had some kind of protection spell and I didn't want to risk it. Uh, so Damien's got a Battle Skull on hand, which I just saw. So I really wish I had more Sundering Growths. <laughs> I could have Eternal Witness, in which case Fairy Macabre will come into play. Um, apologies. I'm finally on holidays at the end of Christmas, at the end of the, so the beginning of Christmas break, I should say, and I just wanted to do these videos. I mean, I recorded them ages ago. I didn't want all that effort to go to waste. I mean, I know you guys probably aren't going to enjoy watching them because they're so irrelevant, but you know, maybe if you've got as much time as I do for the next two weeks, then you're going to eat your breakfast cereal and watch half of one of these games and then turn it off <laughs> once you get appalled by the glare and poor commentary and... <laughs> Poor gameplay, whatever. <laughs> I'm doing it. I don't care if it's good. <laughs> That's a mistress factory from me. Blackboarded. I remember I bought that in San Diego. Hey, there's a witness. So hopefully Damien keys on fairy macabres here. Uh, yeah, he's going to. <coughs> so I'm taking a sip of a a drink, most likely a pasito. Yeah, there's a fairy macabre. Exiling Sundering Growth and Steel Shaper's Gift. Hmm. It seems Damien must have responded to the actual witness rather than the trigger, so I think that's a result of his inexperience. Uh, he obviously would have, should have let the trigger go on the stack targeting and then remove what he targets. What I target. Uh, I eat witness for value. It's not really going to do much against his Bitter Blossom in his hand or the Thrun in play, so I just want to draw more pressure, I guess. 
That's a Bloodstained Mire, I believe. One of the cards that I key the ones from Damien. Crash in with Thrun. I go down to 15. <laughs> you may notice the, the banner up the top with all the life totals and, and information is different to the usual. That's because uh, I didn't update my XSplit uh, subscription, which is the program I use to do my video recording. Uh, <laughs> and so I had to record it with a different program and then I had to retroactively go back and do the life totals a pain in the ass. So I want to avoid doing that in the future. So consequently this, this video took me a lot longer to make. Um, I saw that Source of Purge has in, in hand, Damien's hand, just for your information. Alright, so my fifth turn. I've got Unexpectedly Absent to get me back in this game. I'm probably going to do it on the Bitter Blossom right now. Just to save me some damage from the token he's going to get in his upkeep if he keeps it. And then I just want to drop some dudes. I think I've got a Jidea in my hand, so... That'll be good against Bitter Blossom when it comes back down. Yep, there it is. Damien gives it a read. Unexpectedly absent. I loved it at first, but now not so much. I mean, if you're playing a card like that, you really want to just kill. Kill whatever you target. I mean, in Highlander there's enough cards, enough good cards that you can play cards that kill threats rather than delay them. That's why, like, no one plays Memory Lapse, despite it being well-costed. Throwing in again, down 11. Still plenty of time to put some blockers up for the throw. Back comes down the Bitter Blossom. Passes the turn. i got a Mind Sensor, so he can crack the Bloodstain Mine in response. Or he can just source the Plowshares and keep his <coughs> fetch land if he wants to, I don't know, maybe play... Titania Protector of Argoth, if that was even printed by the when we played this match, I don't know. So, a bit of conversation going on. I had the, the microphone muted when I recorded this, because GG's gets pretty loud. Just, uh, the acoustics aren't great. And the microphones that on the cameras aren't directional either. They kind of take up atmospheric uh, sound. <coughs> And it seems my camera shot isn't the best, and a card's being pushed out of the edge there. So you currently can't see my skull clamp or my temple garden. So just bear in mind that they're still there. Uh, that's a Nantuko Monastery up in the top right. <coughs> if you don't know what that card is, it's uh, taps for colors, comes into play untapped, and if you have threshold, you can turn it into a four-four first striker, green white insect monk <laughs> uh, for green white. So, very powerful man land, if you can turn on threshold. <coughs> Dean's got the swords for the open mind sensor. Um, so I don't get Jedi counters, which is bad news for me. Um, let's see how we go. <coughs> I've got a path in my hand, can't hit the throne because the throne's got hexproof. And I'm just clamp the Avon Everson's Pilgrim to find a decent dude to attack with my Jedi. Damien gets a bit of blossom. Dude, um, I've since cut Nantugo Monastery from my deck. Just the colours hurts, and with Eternal Witness and Deathrite Shaman and opposing scourging users, <coughs> it's just really hard to get threshold, and it's not worth the colours. Uh, land. Damien's drawn a Seal of Primordium to kill my Jidei or my Clamp. I think in this situation he probably wants to kill the Jidei. Yeah, he's the aggro player. I've still got a fair few cards in hand. Uh, it's summoning six, so just the throne again. Back down to 13. I gained some life from the source of plow shares on my mind sensor. I always used to misspell Nantugo Monastery, and then cards got printed, and um, Monastery Sisway is everywhere, and Mystic Monastery is a card, whatever it's called. Um, no, and so I can spell it well now. M O N A S T R Y. <laughs> Be embarrassing if that's wrong. It's fucking hot, by the way. Really hot. My cat's like just lying in the shade. Um, and I'm sipping a cold scotch and coke, which I may pause the recording to go get another one pretty soon. Um, down comes Savannah from my hand. 
So you can't see Temple Garden, Savannah, or Stirring Wildwood. This is atrocious. Uh, apologies, but I'm still going to do it. More tokens for Damien. Damien's a pretty cool dude. Uh, works in a pet shop, so anyone who hangs out with animals is okay with me. <clears throat> it's a windswept heath, once again, Khan's attack here. In an article I wrote recently, I pointed out how Khan's of Takia has actually probably got a few players into Highlander because, you know, now they've got the fetch lands and it's more realistic to get the cards you need to play. I'm playing a bit slow here. Hopefully it doesn't go too long. Um, definitely won't go as long as game one, which I skipped. So you've only got potentially two or four mat or games to watch here, guys. Um... Still just the two bit of awesome tokens, I think, yeah. It's bashing in. Am I jumping with my... Oh, I've got Restoration Angel. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> Save myself some damage. I don't get to block the token, though. So I wonder which, which was better. Killing a, the fly with my Resto, or saving four, four damage, or three damage, effectively, by blinking the death right. <coughs> My PC battery's running low. <laughs> I'm gonna pause the recording. Um, Spacebar. Uh, I think I just paused the VLC. All right, pause. All right, we got power again, <laughs> and away we go. Damien cracks his boss, Maya, down to 17. Um, can't really see his lands. Not sure what he's gonna get. He doesn't play red. He's playing Isaac's uh, Black Green White deck from when he won the latest Dandenong Highlander. That's a uh, Scrubland. That's a proxy printed from. I think it's like the Vintage Masters one or whatever from Moto. Hmm. Yum. <coughs> no cuts. Very gentlemanly. But at the same time, not. In a way. I'm not sure how I feel about never cutting. It's kinda... It's almost like not burning a card in poker. Um, I think it's good just to be procedural and you know, you both understand that the cut's not necessary but... Yeah. I don't know. I'd like to have a conversation about that with someone pretty soon, get their thoughts. Uh, cut. I'm cracking that Horizon Academy. That's been my hand for like the whole game. Um, I didn't want to play it, obviously, to minimise the amount of life I lost. And I haven't got a creature to clamp, so I cracked the Horizon Cave to dig deeper. And I'm sure that any creature I clamp and attack with, he's not going to block and kill. So I'd rather, you know, draw a card now and then block and draw cards with the clamp on his following turn. Looks like Deathrite's gonna snuff it. Maybe chumping the batter skull or the thrun. And I've decided to play apply some pressure with Restoration Angel, I suppose. With Bit of Boss Man play, you can't really afford to Oh, what's going on here? Oh, looks like I've done a rewind and Damien was totally cool with it. <laughs> Such is MHL. Okay. Um, I think I just changed the land that I equipped the clamp with. Uh, very unprofessional block. Past turn. Bit of Awesome is quite unintuitive in that sense. You know, you value your fairies differently because there's so many of them. I'm not sure if he got a new one in his upkeep. I think he might have just blocked and rather than putting the dice to the side, he just put it across for the following turn. Alright. Forest. What's he got? I didn't even see what the card was. That's that's stupid. But Damien's got a bunch of beef, lots of um, meat, but this won't get him to the end game. Unless he probably wants to suit up a fairy there. And so I can't draw cards off the clamp. Force me to just eat all my flies. And he should just not attack with any ground creatures. It'd be nice if I could put Clamp on Stirring Wildwood and block, but obviously it'd fall off before the end of my turn. Okay, so... 
Damien's moving. Okay, so he's doing exactly what I what I recommended. And so that's a 5-5 five, five fairy. Yeah, like I said, I wouldn't have bashed with a throne there. Vigilance. I much prefer to use, you know, like, uh, non-symmetrical objects uh, for tokens so you can tell they're tapped and untapped. But dice are so convenient that people will just still do it anyway. Uh, it's not great for this scenario where, you know, you guys are just going off by my commentary and what you can see, rather than, you can't actually hear us talking. Um, I got some kind of trick. Steering while would activate. I'm going to take that earth run. Ah, oh, Damien tapped out to equip the batter skull. Alright, so, yeah. Thrun shouldn't have attacks, basically. Kills the Wildwood, so that I don't draw cards off the clamp. That's that's a good move, I'd say. Number four damage. I exile a token to save some life. The lands will be handy for Damien for moving his clamp, his batter skull around, and and also being able to play whatever he draws. Path's a tricky one in Highlander. Whether it's it's really bad against Kurgan, which is arguably the best deck right now because they play barely any targets for it and the targets they do have are you know inconsequential um, but you know path just kills a bunch of cards that you just have to kill like a Baneslayer for example or Hero of Bladehold if everyone's bold enough to play those cards or Knight of the Royal Quarry is probably a more common one um, and you need it against Reanimator just to get their one fatty off, unless it's Inkwell of Ithan, which you can't target. And, I don't know, occasionally you might have a Mind Sensor out, and you can make them not be able to find the basic, which is kind of nice. And you can obviously target your own guy in response to their removal, get some value, so it's still a bit versatile. Alright. Cracking on Fetch. I think I've only got two planes in my deck. Two basic planes, that is. They're my portal ones that I've been rocking for... I the last five years or so. <laughs> Green Sun Zenith for one. Mm, Noble Hierarch? I oh, know. I'm going to do it for two. I'm going to get side Prime Mage. Yeah, okay, sweet. So, no Reclamation Sage in my deck, I don't think. That would have been much better to get. Reclamation Sage, I reckon. You know, he can be bad against. Mm, like. Delvedex and Kurgan and such. Just like a 3 mana 2 1. But the payoff might be worth it. I mean, I think I think Kurgan still plays that Ocken Shackles, which is an absolute must kill. Um, what's Damien? Oh, I tried to cheat. <laughs> I tried to bash with a Kusai Prime Age I just found. No, no, says Damien. I do that heaps. But everyone always um, it notices, so I don't get away with it thankfully not that I'm obviously trying to do it but whatever so Damien's wondering whether he wants to preserve some life um I mean he's got the batter skull out we can put it on birds so he still has a, a flying attacker I oh, know of course I'm gonna kill it hmm so I think clamps finally wearing him down here uh so my prediction at the start of the game was clamp eventually just taking the game come to fruition. Exile your whatever it is, Winston Heath. Clamp over on the fleece main. Mm, yes. I want to put on the creature that's he wants to kill most. Which I don't know. Maybe that should be in Restoration Angel. Alright, Damien, I think for him to win he needs his own clamp, basically. Looks like he drew nothing. Untap, draw, Noble Hierarch. And I've got a Wizard Heath and I think some more lands in hand. Yeah, I think this game's over. Whoa, I've been recording without full screen this whole time.
That's bad. Whatever. Excuse me, I'm just gonna open the my cat in. Mario. Wow. Yeah. Is he dead yet? Almost. Tap tap. I've got threshold for Nantuko Monastery now. Draw draw. Clamps are ridiculous. I've drawn the Green Sun Zenith again. There you go, buddy. Meow, yeah, you're getting pretty warm. Playing cards that don't matter into the nether. It's a Razor Verge Thicket. Bash for one. I think I was playing just straight green white. I think I had like a Bayou for Deathrite Shaman or something. Um, so with straight green white, you only want f seven fetch lands. Um, but if you go to three colours, I think the biggest thing you get out of three colours is the two extra fetch lands, which is just so good with Deathrite Shaman. And, you know, they actually fix your mana as well. They they get one of the other, one or the other, I should say, of your two main colours. And, yeah, three's just, it's just strictly better than two, I'd say. That's a Skull Clamp, once again with the... The Masters Edition art. Down it comes. Or maybe it's from like from the Vault Relics or something. Whatever. So this is a clamp he needed. It's probably a bit too late though. I might have too much of a board. At least he gets a thought sees me and gets some information about my hand before he goes to game three. Call the shrine. Hmm, which black source should I use to tap my thoughtsies? There it is. I lose green suns, I've just got two fetches in hand. I should be able to lethal him this turn. Bash with my factory and my Nantuga monastery. And then bit of loss will finish him off if my creatures don't. Does he play a blocker to not reveal information, or does he just ship it? I think I'm I'm pretty aware that he's playing Isaac's deck from the Highlander, because it was recently before this game. And I know Damien's new to Highlander, so he, he might have just got shown this list by Isaac and copied it. Eats the, the Stranger Geist. Classics. He probably should have bashed with the Stranger of Geist for two and then clamped it to draw two cards. Got two damage in, but whatever. Kind of gives it pseudo vigilance, which is pretty cool. Hmm. Pass. And probably gotcha. It's a Blades Blaster I've drawn. Crack the fetch. Oh, so now I've found the Bayou to make him lose two life off Death Rush Shaman. Animate, so I've got, what's that, 4, 7, 9, plus the Restoration Energy is 12, he gets to block one thing, so he takes 8, and then, yeah, I don't even need the Death Rush Shaman activation. So that's game 2, uh, just a polite handshake. So I'm 2-0 up, one more win and I'll, I'll get there, or Lord Damien can... Rip it out with a 3 0. Hopefully, not because uh, this recording quality is pretty bad and hard to watch. Uh, Damien will be on the play. It's a uh, Marsh Flats, Batter Skull, Pluto Delta. He must have some early plays as well. He's cracking immediately, tends to mean a Thoughtseize um, or an Elf, I suppose. Don't know what land that is. Must be a proxy Bayou, I think. It's a pretty worn out tablecloth. <laughs> the Dungeons and Dragons being worn out. Yeah, there's a Thoughtseize. Okay. 
So, Jude, Path, Kitchen Finks, and then a bunch of lands. That's uh, Mutavolt, Horizon Caterpie, Flooded Strand, and Nantuga Monastery, I think. He takes the Jude. This my go draw. They have drawn a side prime mage, so that's a nice early drop. My hand was looking pretty slow before that. Um, I think that's my flooded strain in play, even though it looks just like a blank card from the glare. Scavenging is from Damien. That'll be good against the Kitchen Finks if he manages to kill it. Trigger on the stack, he can exile it from the graveyard so it doesn't come back. Maybe we had the ships. Yes. Alright, crack into turn just to thin my library. Temple Garden? Yep. I'm pretty glad I played back in Ravnica days, original Ravnica, and managed to get the 40 shocks before they got reprinted in Return to Ravnica. Let's get to get nostalgic playing them, and yeah, they're pretty valuable useful cards. So I probably just ship the turn. So I think that's a hero's downfall in his hand. Or it's fairy macabre. I'm not sure. So Damien can offer the trade here or he can hero's downfall the prior mage. He's got a batter skull in hand so I think he'd be happy with either interaction. He offers a trade. He could have Fairy Macabre for the mad blowouts. Because <laughs> um, he would exile my two cards, then eat his own um, Fairy Macabre with the ooze and kill my Prime Mage. So that's a risk if I block here. I'm thinking about it. Mm, you don't have it, I say. And he does not. He has to decide if he wants to save it with the hero's downfall. I doubt it. I think it's less a trade happening, yeah. I'm pretty happy with that, I think. Ooze can get pretty scary. And I know I have the Finks in hand. Alright, draw. I'm not sure what that was. I think it was uh, unexpectedly absent. I got Mutavolt pass, so I didn't play the Kitchen Finks. That's weird. How come I didn't play the Finks? I've got the double white. Damien plays Clamp out. Maybe I have a Mind Sensor in hand? Yeah, okay. <laughs> of course. How many years did I play Wild Any for? I should, I should have known instantly that Mind Sensor would be the only card I could have. Does Damien crack the Marsh Fights in response? He really should. He's got no Sword Splashes this time. I think I remind him friendly that he could respond. And he does so, yeah. He has an Abrupt Decay in hand, but this way he won't lose tempo um, by playing the Abrupt Decay into turn. Okay, he gets the Scrubland. And lets me untap. That's fair enough. I can't counter the Abrupt Decay, but I know maybe I have. Restoration Angel, or God's Willing, or who knows. I've got a path in hand, so it would have been nice to have that Mind Sensor around, but it's going to get decayed, I think. I go to attacks, before attacks, abrupt decay, yep. Play my Horizon Canopy, down comes Kitchen Vinks, gain two life. Still got path up. Alright, so Damien's going to probably slam Batter Skull and try and ride it. I oh, know, he's only got three lands, okay. So, high right clamp to draw your land, that's what I'd do. I always, I generally just clamp until I hit my land, and then I use the rest of the mana on spells. Obviously there's different scenarios where you don't go that way and you just want to kill them rather than getting a big ball rolling with clamp. Damien's making the decision. 
And yeah, good on you, Damien. I've got the swords of, however. Ouch. <laughs> okay, so I might be able to tempo him out here before the batter skull comes down. We'll see how we go. Hero's Dapple's not going to be too great against the Kitchen Finks, so. There's an ant on me. I'm trying to get my Scotch and Coke, aren't you, little buddy? Well, not for you. Okay, untap. I want some more pressure. And then to go Monastery. Yeah. Oh, no, put it back in my hand. Jeez. I am playing loose. <laughs> I should just stick with my plays and play tight. Not, not do this takesy backsies nonsense. So I wanted to crack the Horizon Academy before I choose which land I play first. In case I play a better man land. Bash him with Mutavolt as well. Get him for five. Then he's down 11, so... I've got two more swings and I should be able to finish him off. And I've got Mother of Runes. Okay. That'll be good for... I don't know. Getting creatures through... Or be, won't, won't be able to gain life from Batterskull now. Not that I know that. Mother of Runes is a, an interesting decision whether you want to put it in your decks or not. Generally the answer is yes, however it does make you weak against sweepers. Mum's just pretty bad against like Toxic Deluge and Pernicious Deed for example. It's not like an elf where you can ramp into like equipment or Kitchen Finks, you know, which are, have some resilience against Toxic Deluge but, or Damnation or whatever you want to play. But um, you know, Mum's just so good against the creature decks. Like, Preventing Jide counters and that kind of thing. Pretty sure I'm recording. <laughs> I'm just going to double check. Recording. Yeah, I am. Sweet. <laughs> okay. Um, whose turn is it? Mine? It must be mine. Only I would think this long. I haven't got Threshold yet. So I can't bash him with the Monastery. Uh, oh, looks like I'm trying to do it anyway. Uh, oh, so I could clamp my Mother of Runes to get in with the Monastery. Maybe that's what I'm thinking about. And... Nope, not that one. Yep, tap, tap another one. Oh yeah, Damien's got Hero's Downfall, which is... Which... Okay. Alright, I've decided I'm going to keep my mum, it seems. Yeah, that's, that's a reasonable line. Yeah. That way, I, you can't really get back into it with removal. He really should have Hero's Downfall before my Mother of Runes came online. It's a common mistake. I'm revealing Path of Exile to a spectator, it seems. Being GG's is probably Tom Arthur lurking around. What's that? That's a nature's claim from Conspiracy. Kills my clamp, so saves Damien a life. And he's got a clamp of his own, so he doesn't really care about me getting life. He's just going for the late game. He takes five down six. Hmm. With Mother of Runes in play, I don't see him getting there this game. Batter Skull's not going to gain him life because I've got Path to Exile on hand. He needs a Sweeper, which he deck wouldn't, his deck wouldn't play because he's got too many Mana Elves. Cracking the Fetches. Looks like he's just going to play the Batter Skull and cross his fingers. So, uh, Savannah. I've played against a few guys who just had the lazy proxies, you know, like blank piece of paper or a card turned upside down and just scrawled on it with text or a pen or whatever. Uh, it's nice to have opponents who, you know, take a bit of pride and do a nice printout, no doubt, on their, their works printer or something. <laughs> I know that's what I'd do. Uh, he's searching for a land. So, looks like it might be a match here. Yeah, I think just better skull, I path it, and that's it. 
cut. Not so good. Crack, crack. Down it comes. Gets the gem. Hmm. Yep. Yep. Okay. GG. So that's the match. Um, I know it's been an ugly video, but yeah. Better than nothing, I guess. And I win 0 3. So that's round one. Uh, seven rounds in the in the MHL. This one at least. And <laughs> if you follow on Facebook, the top eight's already been announced. So just ignore that if you want to uh, enjoy the videos or whatever. It doesn't matter. I'm just doing this for myself, really. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, I'll get on to round two.